Hi everybody, this is Mike Gertis from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living with Wonder Dog Yoga, bringing you a love note. Hey, today I want to talk about staying sane in an insane world. Now, some of us may seem to realize or may think that they look around them and they see divisiveness everywhere. You listen to the radio and you hear about these people and that people against this people and that people. This thing called a pandemic, this frightening thing called a pandemic, now is politicized by many people and all kinds of stuff's going on. Whether, no matter what part, political party you're in, it's still a situation where you're seeing some diversity. You're even seeing more, more than diversity, you're seeing uh, differences, of, differences of mind in these various political parties and just in society in general. So what to do, what to do? It gets pretty frustrated sometimes. So one of the things I ask is this, is this mine to do? Is it mine to do to focus on the television, to focus on the news and hear all the stuff that's going on and how people are opposed to one another? I thought for a moment, no, that's not mine to do. I don't need to focus on how people aren't getting along. What I need to focus on is the truth. If there's one life, that life is love. And that is the truth of all life right now. You know, if we really want to embrace a consciousness of sanity, it has to be, again, right where we are. Now, if I'm going to focus on past hurts and past regrets, I'm not going to be feeling very good. And I'm going to be projecting the past into my present. And if I didn't like it then, I'm certainly not going to like it now. And if I'm looking forward to the future with fear and trepidation as to what might happen, the problem is, is that whatever we focus on happens to come into our experience. So we're attracting that which we don't want. So what to do? What to do? Well, first of all, let's center ourselves. Let's ask ourselves, who are we really? I know who I am, and I know who you are. I know who she is, too. We are that I am, that spiritual entity of life, finding expression by means of each and every one of us and each and every sentient being. It's an expression of the I am that I am. And as such, we remember that. We know that it's all going to turn out all right. We know that we're guided and directed by an infinite presence that helps us to express that greater idea of life and love. But what's up to us to do is to think intelligently, to think wisely. You know, we're given the opportunity for free will. We're given the opportunity to quote unquote, think for ourselves. We're given the opportunity to choose how it is that we want to experience life. Now, if you're looking at life and thinking it's just horrible, well folks, that's your thought. And that's your experience. That's your hell. But if we look at life and recognize that people are doing the best they can, yes, there's some situations that need to be resolved. Yes, some people aren't getting along with other people. Yes, there's some stuff that needs to be healed. But underneath that, this is really a good world. Underneath all that, this is really heaven being revealed. Oh, there's more heaven to be revealed, no doubt about that. And other things that don't fit the idea of heaven to fall away. But let's focus on the truth. Let's focus on what we want to be seeing, what we want to be knowing, and ask that to come forth. Be that so that it can come forth. If we focus on the here and now, here and now, Everything is all right. Everything, everyone is all right. So let's stay in the one moment tight components, component. You've heard of the phrase one day at a time. Let's move that back to one day, one moment at a time. And do what's in front of us to do, knowing that we're guided and directed by that infinite presence, that infinite spirit, God. And as we direct our thoughts, those thoughts are received by a creative medium which takes those thoughts and expresses them with our environment. 
So we think our way into our experience. Now, if this sounds weird and far out, okay, try it. See what you think. But if it's, you take a look at what you have been living, you've probably been thinking about what you have been living and bringing that into your experience. So let's think about the life you want to be expressing, the life you want to be living. Allow that to come forth as your experience. Well, that's enough for tonight. Yoga wants to go to bed. So we're going to say good night, sign off. Stay tuned on Sunday at 10.30, gpslphilly.org. Or cslphilly.org, sorry. <laughs>